Good morning, how are we doing today? My name is James Sweeney, aka Split Suit. Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to talk about prefab combos. Now I've done a video on this in the past, but that was about six years ago, give or take. So I figured that I would retouch on the concept and also go through some exercises with you to really hammer this concept home. Being able to count combinations quickly and precisely is very, very important, especially prefab, because it gets you started off on the right foot. But honestly, this concept is helpful, not just prefab when you're thinking about three bedding or four bedding, but it's also helpful post flop when you're thinking about hero folding or hero calling or really doing anything on any given street. So you have to understand this basic concept because honestly, a lot of newer players totally don't understand it, totally ignore it because it looks too mathy and scary. But I promise you, if you stick with this, you're going to get it and you're going to develop a really good intuition for this very, very quickly. So if you've ever heard of the term combo or combination or combinatorics or anything like that, they're all talking about the exact same thing. And it's essentially counting how many different ways a player can make a hand hand, and when you count all of the hands in their range, that gives you a total number of combos in their range as a whole. Now, if you ask someone who's new to this concept or never heard of this concept before, hey, how many combinations of ace-king are there? They're probably just going to say one, right? Because there's just ace-king. That's it. But at the end of the day, technical players do not look at poker this way because that's simply not true. There are actually 16 different ways to make ace-king. You can see that right here, right? We have ace-king offsuit with ace of spades, king of clubs, or ace of spades, king of hearts, or ace of diamonds, king of hearts, right? Those are all different combos of ace-king. Then there's also the suited variants with ace-king of spades and ace king of clubs etc so the big numbers that you 100% have to memorize are this if you're looking at combinations prefab if it's a paired starting hand there are six combinations of that and if it's an unpaired starting hand there are 16 combinations and those combinations break down to four suited and 12 offsuit so if you just remember that that gives you a massive massive leg up because all of a sudden you can count the combinations within a range much 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 easier and it also gives you a starting point for thinking about things post-flop, although again, we're not going to touch on that in this video. I will do one on that in a future video, and I am also adding lots of exercises into my post-flop workbook, which I'm still working on, which should come out later 2020. That will also help you work on that from a post-flop point of view. But again, today is all pre-flop oriented, so please, please, please remember, paired starting hands pre-flop, six combinations of those, and again, this is assuming there's no blockers, right? If we have, say, ace-king of space, obviously that's going to block out how many combinations of pocket aces our opponent could have but if we don't have any blockers in play right this moment there are six combinations of paired starting hands and there are 16 of unpaired starting hands four of them suited and 12 of them off suit so to do a very quick practice example let's flip over to page 56 in the workbook we're going to go through this one together flip this over to full page and essentially the workbook is just asking you hey how many combinations are in this entire range it breaks it down for every single hand that's selected so again jacks plus and then ace king both offsuit and suited and then asks you to give a total combination right down below now, the ebook version of the workbook can be typed in, which makes your life much, much easier. And you can also save it. That way you can pick up where you left off much easier in the future. And also the range strands are right in here. So if you want to plug this into your software to double check things, that's all doable as well. But anyway, if we're just looking at this right this moment, a lot of newer players would look at this and say, okay, there are six combinations here, right? One of jacks, one of queens, one of kings, one of aces, one of ace king off, one of ace king suited. Or maybe they'd say five because they think ace king is just one combo again we talked about how that's not true a moment ago so we can actually very quickly count this out right there are going to be six combinations of each of the pocket pairs like we already mentioned six 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 and then ace king offsuit is what 12 good exactly and then ace king suited is four so making 16 total combinations of all ace king so if we add this up we have 24 plus another 12 gets us to 36 plus that gets us to 40 and 40 gets us down below and then we can double check this with the answer key as well which does come included with the workbook we are on page what 56 excellent see right down here page number 56 that range total combinations 40 which we got perfect so we did this totally correctly again not too too scary when you just break it down do a little basic addition and not too too bad now, this is obviously much simpler because it is a very small, very basic starting range. So let's widen things out a little bit and take a little bit more of an advanced look at this, or at least a little bit more advanced than exactly this example. So we're going to flip over to page 67. Perfect. Nope. Right over here. 
and we're going to go through this one together. Now this one, instead of just looking at individual starting hands, right, because as these ranges start getting wider and wider, it would just be like way too many rows and columns of trying to like count these things each individually. So instead we just kind of chunk them up into buckets. And buckets are a nice way of looking at ranges in general because oftentimes it's a little bit more usable. Sometimes the way that I visualize someone's range is, okay, here's all of their starting hands and then here's a subset of that that I think they're going to continue with if I say three bet them. Here's a subset that I think they're going to call if I three bet them. And here's a subset that I think is going to fold if I three bet them. So those are some more useful buckets that I can use. And honestly, these ones in here, we there's a full uh, kind of pre-chapter earlier that explains what each of these buckets are, but essentially just trying to simplify things to give some easy starting points, right? Things like pocket pairs can all fit into a single bucket and offsuit double broadways can fit into a bucket and suited stuff like this can fit into a bucket. So that's the way we're going to look at sand, uh, sorry, page number 67 in this situation. So again, here's the range. We could plug this into our software, which we can do in a moment. But for the moment, let's start by doing this all by hand and go forward from there. All right, so let's start by chopping this range together. The first bucket we're going to look at are pocket pairs. And in the situation, it's what? One, two, three, four, five pocket pairs times six combinations of each. Six times five is 30. Excellent. The unpaired Broadway hands are going to be anything that's double Broadway. So up here we have, you know, ace-king suited, ace-queen suited, ace-jack offsuit, etc. And we don't have anything that's like a suited variant selected, but not the offsuit or vice versa. So we can count that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times 16 is what? 70 plus 42. So 112. Perfect. We have our straight and flush drawing hands. So these are any hands that can flop either, I'm sorry, both a straight or a flush. So in this situation, ace five offsuit would not hit that bill, but ace five suited would. So all of these are going to count. So one, two, three, four. And all of these we know are the suited variant. So there are four combinations of each, right? Ace deuce of hearts, ace deuce of spades, ace deuce of diamonds, ace deuce of clubs. Same thing for the others. So we have these four hands times four combinations of each gets us to 16. And then finally we have our other hands and the only thing we haven't accounted for yet is ace five offsuit, ace four suit, I'm sorry, ace four offsuit. And because they're the offsuit variant, we know there's gonna be 12 of each of them. So 12 plus 12 gets us to 24. And then when we finally go and add them all together, we are looking at a grand total of 182 combos. We can proof that with the answer key real quick. So page 67, 182 for total combos. Excellent. And then you also see we broke it down by pocket pairs and double broadways, 112, good, straight and flush. 16 and then 24 for other. Perfect. So we did everything correctly in this situation. And just for the record, you can totally proof this using any software you want. So if we wanted to copy this range, and by the way, if you buy the paper book or paperback, you can always just pull the range strand directly from the answer key, give it a quick copy and paste it into your software of choice. But if we're in Flubzilla real quick, we just copy that, give it a paste, hit enter. Notice the entire range pops up, all good. We get our total combo count right here, 182 combos like we just calculated, which is great. And you may be wondering like, okay, how can I calculate this quickly? And also, how is this useful? Well, I'll explain usefulness in a moment. And also there's a bunch of different extra exercises in this workbook that kind of help you with that, especially from like the three bedding perspective, looking at the combos in a starting range and the combos that you think would continue against a three bet, the combos that would continue against a different size three bet and starting to be able to compare those things and see if there's any opportunity in there, especially for extra bluff three bets. But one of the things that can be very, very helpful is just kind of understanding some of the basic ones. Like for instance, if someone has all their topside pocket pairs, so tens plus and all of the double Broadway combinations. So any hand that has two Broadway cards in it, in this situation, that is 14% of st total starting hands, assuming no blockers and 190 combos total. So you notice in the exercise we did, it's pretty much all of those except for queen jack, queen 10 and jack 10. So think about it real quick, 190 total combinations of all of these double Broadway hands, cool. 
if we remove a couple combos or a few combos like we just did, we're removing these, we're removing these. We know there's 16 combinations of each. 16 times three is what, 48, give or take. So 190 minus 48, let's just round it to 50 for simplicity's sake, gets us to what, roughly 140. So that's totally useful. And then when we go to add the other stuff, it's not nearly as scary, right? We're just adding a few of these, so add another 16. Add another 12 for this one, add another 12 for that, so we're up to add an extra 24, 165 ballpark with this plus this. When we throw in this, we're at what, roughly 180, give or take, and we're right in the ballpark of what we were talking about. So it does get easier with practice, but at first glance, this is gonna seem like just mindless, useless numbers. I totally understand that. But with practice, this will help you visualize ranges more clearly, more precisely. It will help you be able to think about ranges, not just from a percentage form point of view, but also from a combos point of view, which again, it can be a great starting point when it comes to thinking about things post-flop as well as looking for pre-flop opportunities like three betting, four betting, five betting, et cetera. So I do wanna go through one more thing with you that I think would be helpful to visualize this. And kind of what I was talking about just a moment ago of kind of starting to equate the combo form and the percentage form is this little chart down here. So all combinations of hands preflop, if we were to go into Flopzilla and just select all, comes out to 1,326. That's a lot of combinations if obviously they're playing every single preflop hand and there's no blockers to be considered. So we know that 1,326 is 100% of hands. We also know that if you take 0% of hands, that's going to be how many? Zero combos, of course, because there's nothing selected. So we understand the range right here, which also means that we should be able to estimate very quickly things like a 10% range or a 25% range or a 50% range, right? 50% range should be half of 1326. And again, you don't need to be super, super precise here. You could just say roughly 650 and be in the ballpark, and that would be totally useful, which also means that 10% would be what kick a decimal place over roughly 130 combos. So this gives you a nice ballpark for being able to quickly equate the percentage form and also the combo form of a given range preflop. All right, so let's go through one more example together. And in this situation, we're playing a 510 cash game. The button opens to 25, small blind three bets to 90, and you decide to four bet to 210 from the big blind. And in this situation, we have two different ranges, range one and range two, and we're gonna do the percentage form, the combo count for each of them, and then which of these ranges would we use here and why. So again, we're trying to not just be able to count combinations, which is helpful, but also start thinking about what different ranges look like in terms of combo count and thinking about the width of those, thinking about how many people might be using a range like that and so on. So we're trying to kind of bridge that gap between just counting really quickly to being able to use that and understand ranges. Because again, if you can find players who are, say, opening really, really wide and then only three bending with a range like this, well, they're one, not three bending very often. Or if they open wide and would only continue with a range like this against a three bet, well, again, they're folding a lot. So that's that's how you can start finding these kind of preflop applications and there's tons of postflop applications with combos too. But anyway, getting a little bit, a little ahead of ourselves here. Let's start by hacking through this one together. So zoom in just a bit. Perfect, so starting with range one, we have the combo count. So there is kings and aces. So we have two pocket pairs times six is 12. We have 12 of ace king offsuit, 12 of ace queen offsuit, and we're up to 36 total combinations. Yes, and percentage form of roughly 3%. And we'll plug this into the software in a moment and make sure that all this is correct. And then range two, we have four pocket pairs. So we're gonna throw that times six, so we're up to 24 times that, or add that to 32, add that plus another 12, because again, we have full ace king, full ace queen, but only ace jack offsuit. That gets us to 68 total combinations and percentage form of about 5%. So not too, too bad. And by the way, the way that I would eyeball this is I know that two pocket pairs is roughly 1% of hands. I know that a full ace-king, ace-king suited plus ace-king offsuit is roughly 1% of hands. So for every you know two pocket pairs, we have 1%. 
plus another 1%, plus another 1%, plus another 1%, plus a little bit, gets us to roughly five. And then in this situation, roughly 1%, a little bit more than that, getting close to two. So two plus one equals roughly three. And again, we could plug all of this into Fobzilla just to double check it. Fobzilla paste in. Cool, so 36 combos, 2.7%, yep, roughly three, cool. And let's do this one just to double check. Clear it, paste it. And 68 combos, 5%, 68 combos, 5%. Double check it with the answer key. Yes, all that's visible, cool. So 36, 68, wonderful, excellent. And then the which range should we use? Range one is preferred in this situation without reads on the other players, just because you're pretty much just taking too many hands and turning them into bluffs that could be played in a more profitable way rather than just four betting with all of these hands necessarily. So that's the way that I would think about this. So if we're gonna answer the last one, range number one, perfect. So this is how we can start using combos. We can start comparing that to percentage form. And a lot of this at first glance is going to feel a little overwieldy, over just a little confusing, a little complex, but I promise you with some practice, with some time, this really does start to become second nature. And at first it's gonna be slow, right? You're gonna to have to plug through this a bunch. You're gonna to have to use some software to double check. You're gonna to have to get a little bit quicker with your counting, but it just is what it is. It's very, very good practice. It's very, very good help to be able to think about hands, to be able to think about ranges, not just from a percentage form point of view, but also from a combo point of view. And honestly, combos are one of the most important things when it comes to developing a technical skill set in poker. And especially when ranges, either current ranges or ranges your opponent might give action with get narrow, having a strong grasp on combos can help you find extra spots to apply pressure. For instance, if they open many combos, but would only continue against your three bet with queens plus and ace king, which is very few combos like we saw earlier, three betting more bluffs to take advantage when they overfold is an excellent way of taking raw numbers and turning them into a profitable play. And the best way to practice this and begin developing a strong technical intuition of ranges and combos is my math and prefop workbook. There are many more examples like the ones we did today that sync the skill set up with things like blockers as well, plus prefop exercises on three betting, squeezing, four Benning and even prefop all ins. The workbook comes with over 1500 questions, a full answer key, and exercises that apply to tournament players and cash game players alike. Again, you can get your copy by going to splitsuit.com slash prefop today. And that is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I hope you enjoyed a lot. I hope you learned a lot. And hopefully this practice really helps set you off on your own exploration so that way you can count combinations correctly, precisely, and very, very quickly. As always, if you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you back shortly with a brand new video. And until then, good luck out there and happy grinding.